the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I might the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. So, um, have you ever had a parking ticket? Oh, I'm sorry, John. I was I was enjoying a glass of emergency. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Honestly, Jonas, I have never had a parking ticket. Yeah, me neither. I've had my car towed one time. Which, yes. Which really, really sucked. Yes. Uh that I've had happened. Before. I was actually. I'll tell the story real quick because it sucked sure. ass. Sure. I was in high school, so I wasn't even. And I drove to Cleveland to go watch a band concert, and my car got towed from the flats. Oof, at, like that's where to get towed. Well, too. dude, because the sign about no parking was like twenty feet up the pole. Like I literally had to look. Like I was like, "Why is my car gone?" And I somebody's like, "I think it got towed." I'm like, "What are you talking about?" And they're like, "Up there," and it was like nowhere near eye level. Saying and so, but what sucked was this was like midnight on like a Wednesday, and we lived an hour from Cleveland, and I had to call my dad and be like, "Hey, I need you to drive to Cleveland to pick me up because oh, my car is, got towed." Yeah, this is before Uber. Yeah, I, I wouldn't they, have had money to take an Uber home then. Anyway, that would, from fifty miles of Uber, that would have been so expensive. I wouldn't have the money. You just for that. PayPal the Uber guy. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't have the money to PayPal ish. <laughs> so, needless to say, uh, my dad was not happy, but he did do it. As a parent does, as a parent would need to. I mean, he didn't really have a choice. His kids stuck in Cleveland, and we, your, and we your ass and, and, roam the streets. Yeah, for Cleveland. the rest of the we'll sleep on the streets for the night, honey. Yeah. See you in the morning. This so, is anyways, why, this is why I never had kids. Yeah, probably. right. Uh, so anyway, so this, so this, I think they were a teenager. I don't know. They're, I think they're of, of adult age, so they're going to get in trouble. But so a California teen created their own parking ticket form. And, That's what's up. And uh, put it on cars, and there was a QR code to like pay the money for the fines, but it was yeah. his account. Yo, <laughs> so that was... is a <laughs> entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? I mean, he was. I mean, arrested for fraud, but you know, uh, yeah. They it, and like there was a picture of him. They looked all nice. Had like pine trees on, or not palm Yo. trees, and it said. Uh, it said, uh, what's it say? I can't see here. Oh, Santa Cruz parking pay, citation Yo. number. And he would put, like, the vehicle. He made him look very expired meter. Meter not paid. No active session. Blah, blah, blah. He, like, made him look very, but they were. How much um, was he charging for? It doesn't say. This says $42. <laughs> what? Yo. So, yeah, notice of parking violations, Santa Cruz parking pass. So, yeah, and then there was, like, a, a QR code to be, like, pay, pay it here to prevent us from arresting your mom. And, uh, yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's ingenious, man. I always like to hear about hustles like that. About um, even, even though crimes? he got... What's that? About people committing crimes? You want to hear that? No, that's not... Come on, that's a hustle. That's not a crime? <laughs> it's a, excuse, it's a, excuse, nobody excuse. got hurt. Yeah, nobody. Nobody. Nobody, <laughs> nobody got hurt. He, w wait, he put the ticket on people who were going to get a parking ticket anyway. No, I don't think that's the case. I think he put them on there to get money. I mean, no, I'm saying is that he put the, t the tickets on cars that are already in violation. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, I was think he was just passing them out? Uh, yeah. I Yo, think that... I'm not paying a parking ticket if I'm not illegal. You can't just yeah, make but me pay. But how, imagine how many people, like, think, oh, I, I owe money. I'll pay it. Like, they're like, why did I get a parking ticket? Damn it. I'm just going to pay it. Oh, I thought he was, like, out here being, like, the, the Punisher, the meter maids. Oh, like, they already had a ticket. He took the cop's ticket off and put his ticket on. I mean, that and or, you know, he would, like, go around looking for people who had expired tick, uh, meter and just, like, yeah. All right. And maybe that's the case. I don't know. Truth not facts here on the Crazy Town <laughs> podcast. I don't think that was it. I think he was, that, I think why he got in trouble is because he was just putting them on cars. Oh, trying yeah, to that's, that's not cool, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. I guess. How was the other cool? He's because then they're having to pay the ticket twice. I don't know because then he was just like some, he was like a street vigilante, he was like a superhero. He was like the Spider Man of meter maids. Yeah, I'd rather the clock. money go to him than the police department. All right, they got enough. Okay, they're doing all right. All right, I'm well, sorry, is there a problem? They got enough money, they don't need his. his Jonas, uh... where do you sit on the scale from AC, AB? to blue lives matters where are you at on that spectrum oh i'm in the middle where 55 60, oh i don't know the percentage 70 blue lives matter where are you at you said in the middle 
Yeah, I mean, like, I don't think all cops are bad, and I uh, don't think, and but I'm not ignorant to think that there aren't bad cops out there. You heard it here first, Jonas State Police. Oh, pff, wow. <laughs> you heard it here is, first. Is that, is that? <laughs> you heard it. He hates them. I mean, we've all seen a cop show. We've all we've all <laughs> we've all seen news show. stories about people getting busted for stealing drugs or murder. Like, I mean, murdering people in the streets. I mean, yeah, we know, yeah, yeah. but I mean, but there are cops out there who like literally like love going out and just like doing their job and be giving a service back to the community and yeah, aren't assholes yeah. and like are good people. This is the thing. It's like no matter what field or industry that you think a person is supposed to be most sympathetic to other people, there's always going to be a jerk who got that job. It's amazing to me like how many yep. doctors don't even give a shit about anybody. It's like how are you going to be a doctor? You're supposed to heal people, but you don't really care about anybody. No, they don't. Sometimes. If a person annoys you for half a second, you're done. All right, Get out of here. <laughs> I'll take my $150 for the five minutes I saw you. Thank you. Well, right. Yeah. I mean, I, I've definitely noticed there's been doctors that I've seen and like I could tell they didn't give two shits about yeah, anything yeah. going on. And I've had ones that I'm like, bro, you can chill out. You don't got to be so involved. Like, it's fine. <laughs> like Definitely. So like there's definitely going to be cops who who feel that way or firemen know. or yeah. Yeah, anything. I mean, yeah. look at the baristas at like a Starbucks. Some of them love that ish to death and other yeah. people are like, it's a job. I don't give a sh about your coffee. Yeah, like, I think I think where the true delineation comes in is like when you're looking at a person, it's like, do you are you doing this because you want to help people or are you doing this because you get to hold a gun? Yeah, or you get to you get to uh, you get to put your power over people, or you want to you want to stop crime. I want to punish people. I want to stop crime. Well, right, and I think a lot of people uh, they they get a job as a cop because it allows them to have control. Yeah, I honestly like okay. So me on the scale of AC, ACAB, I always mess up that acronym ACAB to Blue Lives Matter. I have to say I'm probably like. I don't know. Let's let's put me at about seventy on the blue lives okay. side. All right, I'll be up there. So you so you see you see that there's more good than bad. Essentially Absolutely. And I would say if like it, like I didn't really think about it like in that perspective. I'd say I'm probably more on that side too because I think there's way more good seeds than bad seeds out exactly. there. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But like 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 I said, there's definitely been cases of even physicians and uh, gynecologists who have been caught doing some ill. There's yeah. people, people trainers are, on Olympic teams. Like, uh, you know, I mean, there's always going to be somebody. The entire who, Catholic Church. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, not the whole thing. But the ones who are the offenders get amplified and they are called out the most. Now, you, I know we, just recently we have the uh, the whole Tyree. Oh, the hit squad that the, like they like. The Scorpion uh, squad. Yeah, though. Scorpion squad. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. We have that going on right now. And yeah, that's like the real life, the shield. Just like a yeah. group of like guys out there doing ill shit. Just like, like beating the hell out of perps. <laughs> just yeah. They just basically have no no rules. Like perps. they just like, you ever watch the Damn. shield? You ever um, watch the show no. the shield? That was actually a pretty good show. Yeah, it was just like this, this undercover unit. And they just went out and did whatever the hell they wanted, but they still were doing like illegal stuff and like running by their own rules. And like, yeah, yeah eventually yeah. that catches up to you because you're going to do something really bad that. People are gonna finally catch you. Yeah, and I and like I feel you. That's some cool comic book shit to be doing, especially when you got like a, a badge kind of behind it, and a bunch of people will be like, "Oh, I didn't see him do anything." You know. I mean, even yeah, even like uh, I feel like if there is any job that a person should have like a a psychiatric evaluation on a regular basis, and they may already have this implemented in in this in the, in the police force as it is, but it is the police, like the amount of stuff that they see in a day that can desensitize them to like just general humanity. Because when you see humanity on that level constantly, then it kind of warps your viewpoint of it. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Well, yeah, you get desensitized and then you start thinking in a different way. And then like you could, yeah, be... you don't, you don't value life. You don't value complaints. You don't value the screams yeah. and, and like it. Yeah. Oh it, no. It changes I, you. I agree. Well, and, there, and there's one thing I agree of too. Like, um, I know they had those big, like, defund the police movements, but, like, what I do agree with as far as that goes is there should be money given to where if they're, like, mental issues that you're calling the police about, that you send a mental health professional to go instead of a cop. And, like, if, if that means taking some money away to make sure that you have funding to send, like, mental health professionals to calls where, like, 
nothing where there's danger, but people who are not stable. Because cops aren't going to treat a person who's losing their mind, but are like not really a danger to anyone. Yeah. The same as like a mental health professional would go and be try to talk them down to get, still take them whatever. But it, I think that's where people lost the thing of like, yeah, I don't think you should send the same cop to a robbery that you send to like they're like suicidal in the street right and like I, that's I, a different <laughs> and there was an uprising about that because there was a incident where um a cop was called to help a person who was having a mental health episode and ended up shooting them to death right because they think they're a danger when really yeah. they're just they're they're not in their right mind and even though like the family was like don't shoot him he's having this and they were like telling him as he did it um so to me i would say does that incident, does that particular incident where it ends up in a person getting hurt or killed, does that happen often enough where we feel like we need to do that? Or is this just one guy who was like, I don't know, didn't have his coffee in the morning and went to work and fucked up? Right, right. I I just see the value of like if somebody calls 911, it getting like broken into like does this need a police officer or does this need like a mental health professional yeah so maybe you know, they, it's like that's maybe a, they should have like a, a specialist or a team a task of specialists. Force. like yeah a task force. <laughs> the mental, mental health task force right because i'm sure those calls oh are less God. right you know what i mean like it's not <laughs> most of the calls are like somebody right. got robbed you need to come and but but here's the thing it's the most 2023 shit i ever heard of if in my uh life. If mental the health task mental force health task yeah. Force. but like even it could be things Jesus. like just keeping the cops out there to handle real cop stuff oh. and then you have other people go and handle stuff like like what does a cop need to go and be uh, for like uh, just something that's not i agree yeah, I, so think anyways. My, I think motherfuckers need to stop calling the cops stop calling the cops what do you need the cops for should be no cops handle uh, yourself anyways that's all the time we have for this episode go to thecrazetown.com for jonas see you